Hello. I went to VidCon. This was going to be a this was going to be like a vlog. I didn't really get as much footage as I wanted. I feel like it would literally be so messy and like you guys wouldn't understand what's going on. And it's just, I like I need to explain it to you guys. I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna do my makeup for funsies. This might be long, I'm not sure. Get a Starbucks, get a snack, and buckle up. The Starbucks today, a venti java chip frappuccino, it's really melted, with two extra shots of blonde espresso. You will absolutely your, oh, you will accidentally poop your brains out if you drink this. Forget, you can't like cuss in like the first three minutes of your video or like you'll get demonetized or something. I filmed like me getting ready and stuff for VidCon. I barely even filmed at VidCon. And I'm going to explain everything, but pretty much like nothing happened at VidCon itself. I'm gonna include clips and stuff to make it a little bit more organized. It's the first day of VidCon, I'm getting ready. quick rinse. My face has been more puffy and I do have a pimple right here. It's a bad pimple though and it hurts so bad. Look at that. She's really red and swollen and I've never done this before but I'm gonna put my face in a bowl of ice. I don't know I feel like it'll help. I feel like it'll wake me up and get me going. Oh 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 that's gonna be way worse than I thought. That is the worst. Okay, wait, my skin looks really good. So just to explain how VidCon is for creators a little bit, because I feel like a lot of people don't know how it works for creators. If you're a really big creator, you can get invited from VidCon, and that's like a little harder to do. Those are the people with like millions. And if you've ever been to VidCon, you know you have to buy the VidCon ticket, you get the badge around your neck, and you get a wristband. There's like different types of passes. There is one pass in specific that you cannot buy. If you're like invited to VidCon and you speak on a panel, you have a yellow badge and it says featured creator. And then there's the all access pass. And that's if like you have a lot of followers, you just can pretty much get into anywhere and it's like a yellow badge. And like I said, you get them if you have like a ton of followers or you can get them if you have less followers and if your management has like ins with people. I did not get a full access pass. I just got like the creator pass, which is this wristband. Honestly, should have just bought like the community one because this one was so much more expensive and I didn't even need to get this one. The main reason why I went to VidCon, YouTube invited me to the Hyatt and the Hyatt is the hotel where literally all the big creators are invited. You have to have a full access badge or be invited there. You can't get in any other way. I mean, unless you sneak in, but. I got an email from YouTube inviting me to the YouTube lounge. It is in the Hyatt and like YouTube, Instagram, they will make these little events like in the Hyatt that you can go to. A lot of it's networking. My manager was there talking to people more behind the scenes. It is a good way to like meet other creators, but. <laughs> I am really socially awkward and it's really hard for me to meet people and I'm gonna explain that more later. So anyways, we go in, we stand in line and get our badges. First day, really uneventful. We literally didn't do anything. We got food. Most of my friends have Disney passes. I had a Disney pass for like two years. I literally don't like going to Disneyland unless I have a pass. When you're there more than like four or five hours, the magic is gone and that place is horrible. I don't like it. I like to go to Disneyland for like an hour, two hours, go on a few rides, get a few snacks, 
snacks and dip. Disneyland is not fun when you stay all day, okay? I don't care what anybody says. If you go from eight to 12, everyone is miserable and tired and cranky and a fight happens or something. So I was like, okay, why don't I just get the passes now and we go to Disneyland? Because when I tell you like the Anaheim Convention Center and Disneyland, you can see the outside of like California Adventure from the Anaheim Convention Center. We ended up going to Disneyland because VidCon was really boring. Did I film like any of that? No, because I am a horrible YouTuber and I just don't think anything is interesting and it would literally just be me walking around. Forgot to mention, the inside of the convention, like, you know, they have like a bunch of like little booths and stuff. None of that was open yet. And I'm like, why would you guys even make it four days if you're not gonna have that open? It was just food trucks outside, like nothing else was open. And like, yeah, you can walk around and like maybe see a creator, you know, if they're there, but I'm gonna be completely honest. Most creators were at the Hyatt. <laughs> Day two started out really bad. It was like one of those days, one thing after another happened. It was like mostly my fault. I didn't have a full access badge, so I needed to get my wristband to get into the Hyatt. We wanted to go straight to the Hyatt today because VidCon was really boring. We parked at VidCon because Tyler thought the Hyatt was like walkable distance. We typed the wrong hide it into maps and we walked to the wrong location. That took like 10 minutes. Also, Anaheim was really hot. So then we had to walk all the way back to the car. Then we get in the car and we're like, okay, we're going to the right Hyatt. Plus we had to pay for parking and we stayed there for 20 minutes and we didn't even go to VidCon. We thought we were gonna park there because the Hyatt was walkable distance. We drive to the Hyatt, $8 for parking right off the bat. I look at my phone on the email. I had to get the mother wristband at VidCon. We get back in the car. We go back to VidCon. I run into VidCon. You know, you have to go through security. You gotta go through all that. I get my wristband. We go back to the Hyatt. We pay for parking again. Finally get in. It was just like one of those things. When I tell you also the traffic was so bad around the place. It took forever to find parking. This all took like an hour. I meet up with my manager right off the bat. When I walk in, I know everyone. And like, I don't mean to be weird. Like, obviously I'm a YouTuber, but like I have grown up watching YouTube, Vine, all of it. It still trips me out. I know that these are just people, but like it's weird to see these people in real life. And it's just like I'm walking and I know like every single person that I'm seeing. There's a bunch of different booths. The first one that we went to was like a Nickelodeon booth. And you know, it's a lot of mingling and networking, just talking to people who do learn a lot about like the business side. Creators do not talk about that online and there's so much business behind it and I love that kind of stuff So it was like very cool and it motivated me to like make more content and like how to make thumbnails What to title my stuff how often to post what is going to be the next thing that comes to the app right off the bat Your girl has to get some Starbucks because I am just I need to get more hyped You know like I'm just like that Feeding my Starbucks addiction So we're at the Hyatt. I don't know. I don't know. What, literally, this is the most boring vlog ever. I don't know, like, what do you, how do you make these interesting? Just film everything. I don't, have, people I don't film. have friends. Yeah, make them. How the hell How's do you make time? friends? How's your time? You're amongst your peers, right? Peers that are scary. Yeah. True. But you chose to. I overheard someone say that there was a cat lounge with real cat, like cats, like, like real, real live, live cats live and cat kittens. Cats. You know your girl ran. Mm -hmm. I think we spent an hour in there. Oh. We're at a cat cafe and Kaylee's freaking out. So she's looking at a cat and sadly they're all adoptable. So we're hoping she doesn't get one again for the ninth time. Pray for me. 
I want one. There, look at look, 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 look. Oh my god. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? He's hugging up the way he's sitting. Right. He's over there just chilling. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. I haven't felt such a small cat in a while. Okay, this is possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, he's needy. He's making biscuits. <laughs> I'm not crying. Are you crying? <laughs> okay, to be fair though, that is the cutest. <laughs> oh my god! Are you a cat? We can try it like a whole thing. But the crazy part is that she thinks that she's going home with that one. I literally can't. When I tell, I cried multiple times. I have wanted to volunteer like at animal shelters and stuff like that, but like, and I'm not saying this to be dramatic. It's just like I can't help it but cry because I do want to take all of them home. I know the people that work there love them and take care of them, but it just like hurts my soul. I just like want to take all of them home and. And love all of them but that's extremely irresponsible and I can't do that there was this one little kitten this one little orange one he was so sleepy then there was this other little just let me be a crazy cat person for a second okay I don't care crazy little girl kitten yeah. oh, my oh my goodness you're a crazy girl you're so nice though you don't play with claws she just wanted to play oh, she was so hyper i'm gonna start crying right now also all of these cats were like adoptable like you could get them right then and there and if we didn't get binks i totally would have gotten one and i, I genuinely think tyler and like the people we were with were like definitely worried that i was gonna get one we lived 20 minutes away from the convention center and the height and all of that so i mean it would have been pretty convenient we spent a good amount of time in there i really hope a lot of those kitties got adopted because they were the sweetest there was two in there that like their back legs were paralyzed they were literally so sweet anyways that was amazing i didn't expect that at all but i was like yes this is like made for me so then we went into this other booth i'm not gonna say what it was because i don't want to be rude but like let's just say it was like uh if you're a beginning creator or if you're a big creator and you just like don't know this if you go to a management company that's like a huge management company you have to sign these like crazy contracts where they get like 20 to 30 percent of your makings it's a ripoff like those big management companies let's just say this was a type of like management company type of thing and they're they're a big one we were just like looking down the hall to see like what booths and stuff were going on and the guy like instantly he was like no like come on like come on in and we were like okay he was holding a drink an alcoholic beverage bro his pupils were huge i don't know if this man was just drunk i don't he was talking like this. Like he was talking so slow. Oh, like, what do you do? And I was like, oh, like I'm a YouTuber, like social media and all that. He was also like very pushy. Like his tone, the way he was like talking and stuff, he was very pushy. He was like, oh, like, do you have Facebook? And you know, everybody and their mama has told me to get on Facebook because I don't know if it pays well. I don't know if it's like easy to go viral on there. But a lot of people in the social media space have told me like, girl, you need to get on Facebook. He was telling me like, oh, like we can set that up for you like right now. But, like they were talking about doing it like through them. It was like that awkward thing where he would say something that like it didn't seem like a question and then he would just stop talking. And then me and Tyler were just standing there like. It was so awkward and i am awkward so when another person is awkward it's just nothing's gonna happen it's gonna be weird there's gonna be just silence because i don't know how to i need to take like a class on how to not be awkward he was kind of insinuating like to set up the facebook profile like right then and there with him like tyler kind of spoke for me because i just like didn't know what to say because he was being so like forceful and tyler was just like oh yeah she's already like with a management company and he was like oh who and like my management company she's like an up-and-coming business she's like a small business still they're not gonna know who she is she's a friend that started a company and i'm like working with her like i'm good i'm like pretty much nicely saying like i'm not interested in joining this i'm just looking they had some bean bags with mario kart and i kind of just wanted to play the mario kart but then you had to come up to me and you had to make me really awkward and i just 
don't know what to do and your breath smells like alcohol. So then he like asks for my name and stuff and he was like, oh, like how can we contact you? And you know, I just, I give him the email just to try and get this freaking conversation over. We just kind of ended the conversation by saying like, oh, like we have to go. We have to go meet someone. <laughs> that was a fun little awkward trip and I stayed very far away from that booth from that point on because I was just like, I don't want anything to do with that. At this point, we're kind of just in like the lobby area, standing around, not knowing what to do. And from the corner of my eye, I saw a YouTuber that I know. A lot of you guys probably know, Maya Fam. I recreated one of her videos a while back, recreating Cassie's 4 a.m. routine. I've seen her videos before, but I didn't like actively watch her. But then after that, I like fell in love with her content. I love how independent she is. She's like really inspiring. And I was like, I want to say hi. The one like really, really hard thing is like, I don't want to seem like a fan. Like, I just want to tell people, like, if I like their content, like, I like their content. It's hard when you have less followers than someone. And I know this seems so outlandish and weird, but that's, like, how it is in these settings with all of these different influencers. Some, not all influencers care about how many followers you have, but there are definitely ones that will treat you differently if you have less. I really, really want to make friends in the YouTube space. I genuinely don't know how to go about it. Like, there are people that I genuinely think, like, not in a weird way, but, like, that I know I could be friends with because we have, like, similar interests and stuff like that. Reaching out, it's gonna seem like I'm a fan or I don't want them to get the wrong idea. Like, I'm clout chasing because that's, like, also a really big thing. It's like, I'm just trying to make friends with people that do the same thing that I do. Tyler was like, you need to go say hi to her. So I hadn't gone to the YouTube lounge yet and that's like the main thing that I was invited to. And she was in line for the YouTube lounge and she was at the end of the line. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go get in line. And I kind of saw her glance at me. I mean, probably cause I was freaking staring. Now thinking back, I finally just like got the balls. And when I was standing in line, I was like, hey, like, I just wanna let you know, like I love your content so much. And she was like, you look familiar. And then I told her about the Cassie video and she was like, oh my God, yeah. So I'm pretty sure she's seen me like from that, but she was literally so sweet. And I'm so happy that I just did it because it really made me get out of my comfort zone. But we talked like the whole time we were in line. And then I like wanted to say bye to her when I left the YouTube lounge, but I didn't just want to like come up to her. I don't know. I'm so like, I don't want to make anyone feel weird. Anyways, she was super sweet. And like, if you're somehow seeing this and you're ever in LA girl, hit me up and we can go get coffee. YouTube Lounge was pretty sick. So YouTube just came out with this thing and it's like YouTube shopping. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like how Amazon has their Amazon storefront. So you can have affiliate links. So now YouTube has their own affiliate links. They had like this little section where they have some of the products that they have affiliate links for. That's like a cool thing that creators will be able to use that I'm excited to use because I'll be able to use it all the time. Why am I sweating so much? They had this little area with a bunch of stuffed animals. Uh, so we kind of just like hung out there for a little bit. They had cotton candy. <laughs> So after that, I texted my manager kind of just to see what else was going on. And she told me that they were in the Instagram lounge area. Bro, instantly when we walked in there, I was like, and when I was there, everyone was kind of like telling me like Instagram events and stuff, they always go hard. It's always like super aesthetic and stuff. And I talked to a few people in there and then I was like looking around and stuff. And then I saw Boost by Bryant. You know, your girl has to get that. You get seated, I'm gonna give you Is that it? I wish there was like a countdown. I know, I don't know what it's gonna be. Okay. And then we had like a 30 minute conversation with Brian. So by this point, it's getting later and we're kind of just figuring out what we're going to do. There was a party this night and it was by TikTok. And I wasn't really sure if I wanted to 
go yet. All of my friends kind of were like, mm. We actually ended up going to dinner with two of our friends at downtown Disney. Okay, we got home probably like 10 minutes ago. It is eight o'clock and I think we're gonna go out with friends and we're actually gonna go to downtown Disney and go get dinner. I don't know if we're gonna go to a party tonight. I think we're definitely going to a party tomorrow, but we had to come home to feed the kitties, of course, and I literally like took off all of this makeup and just like redid it super quickly. And now we're literally gonna run out the door. Totally like washed my pits. Oh my god. Because holy crap. This deodorant ain't cutting it for today. And I'm gonna be honest, it was so much better than going to any party. So I'm really happy that we did that. Day two, a little bit better. Actually, no, a lot a bit better than day one. Now let's go to day three. I'm still like half asleep. It is VidCon day three, and literally like the last two days, we've barely even gone to VidCon. And honestly, this is the last day because I'm gonna cut it real short and say we did absolutely nothing on day four and there probably just shouldn't have been a day four. This day, I kind of gave up on filming because I'm gonna be completely real with you. I kind of planned on not even making a video at this point because I was pissed at myself because I hadn't been filming that much, but also I was pissed because nothing was happening, but I got you guys and I'm not gonna let there not be a video. We go to VidCon. Today, we did sit at like a few panels for a few of our friends this was the most crowded day and i think that's because there was like bigger people on panels and stuff nothing really happened i remember something that happened at vidcon that i don't know how i forgot when making this we were walking around and there was a panel going on so we kind of just stood there and started watching it it's when dream was on the panel we were just standing there watching we were bored we had nothing to do you know they're talking about social media like how they first went viral and stuff like that this kid runs up to the stage jumps onto the stage he's wearing like a Fortnite costume skin thing he's right in front of dream and dream like has his mask on and stuff and i instantly was like like, oh my god he's gonna try and rip his mask off even though dream has done a face reveal but then he put the mask back on because everyone made fun of him anyways i thought he was gonna rip dream's face mask off but no this kid just starts dancing on stage and then he starts doing the fucking worm I don't know how there wasn't security guards like in front like down below so people couldn't hop on stage but then like the security guard takes him and is dragging him off and he's like trying to escape and i'm like hey you're not gonna escape and he gets him like in a freaking like headlock and i'm like anyways it's pretty much the only interesting thing that happened next year i genuinely don't even know if i'm gonna go to vidcon like if you don't know any of the creators that are going to be there or you're not a creator there to like do meet and greets or a panel or something like that then i genuinely think there's like no point in going the food was pretty good though we left vidcon we didn't go to the hyatt on this day because i feel like we kind of saw everything the day before and i feel like it was going to be the exact same i was like mentally preparing myself all day i want to go to one of these parties i still like wasn't sure if i was even like allowed to go because i didn't have a full access pass but i did have the hyatt wristband and there was shuttles like from the hyatt to go to these parties i don't know it was like a list thing like if your name was on the list so i haven't i had i had no idea this after party was held by instagram i was surprisingly not that anxious and i genuinely feel like i wasn't that anxious because we did live close so i was like if something goes wrong i'm just gonna go home my anxiety really spikes when like i am hours away from home and home is my safe place so that's when i start to freak out but i was like fine like most of vidcon i feel like that's just because i've been going out so consistently exposure therapy is real people I mean, I feel like it's working because my anxiety has been so much better, but also who knows because it's summer and I have been getting way more like vitamin D. So maybe I'm just really vitamin D deficient, like 
all the other times of the year and maybe that's why I'm very mentally unstable all the time. We'll never know because I'm terrified of going to the doctors. Anyways, we get to this place and instantly like you can see how crazy it looks from the outside. I'm like antsy in line because I still like don't know if we're gonna get in. I'm in line and I'm just like low-key fangirling over like people I've watched on YouTube for like so long. I'm like what the heck is going on? Okay, I'm just gonna tell you guys how we got in. My name totally could have been on the list, but Tyler was also with me. Pretty much Tyler said his name was somebody else and they were like, okay. And I was like, I'm his plus one. And they're like, okay. <laughs> so we got it. Also, like we asked permission of the person that we said the name of. We didn't just like say some random person's name, like it was okay. We walk in, there is this little area for people to take pictures. We run into a few people we know. I saw a bunch of people I'm mutuals with on social media, like on TikTok and Instagram and stuff. And I was just honestly too scared to go up to them and I didn't. And I low-key regret it because I feel like everyone would have been chill. It is what it is. Like everyone had their like little groups and I kind of just had Tyler and my manager. Like I didn't know any Anybody else like that's also why I want to make friends so I can like go to these things in groups Cause like if I'm there with like one other person like I feel like we're just like standing kind of like on the outskirts like away from everybody There was a music guest at this party and her name is Koi Leroy I knew quite a few songs she played YouTube won't let me play the songs But you can go look up her songs and it was like a full-on performance I was not expecting this. We walk in and like everyone's dancing. Um, it was a vibe. Instagram knows how to put a party on, I guess. Because it was a lot of fun. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like this is probably the most fun I've had in like a really long time. And I'm not like a party person. Like I have probably only ever been to like two parties in my entire lifetime. And like, yes, this is like a party at like an event. Everyone was nice, like I didn't have, mm. I almost forgot. I was about to say I didn't have any like bad or weird experiences. <laughs> but I forgot. I decided not to drink just because it's like my first ever party thing and I just like wasn't in the mood to drink at all. I wanted to keep my guard up a little bit more and um, I don't trust men. Even though my boyfriend is there, just you never know. Tyler walks away and he's going to go and get a drink. I am staying there with my friend and this guy, mm, we're gonna call him Kyle because he looked like a fucking Kyle. You know, I'm standing here like this dancing a little and my friends right here and we're talking this guy comes out of nowhere like all up on me i could literally feel the imprint of his penis on me okay too close for comfort buddy and he goes are you dating anyone like right up like in my face <laughs> I've never had anything like this happen before. Also, like that's not how you get a girl pal. That's how you get pepper sprayed in the face. I put my hand up to his chest and push him away and I'm like, yeah. And he like walks away. He's like, oh man, very drunk. His buddy was there and was like, oh bro, like don't, like don't do that. Like he was kind of like telling him like, bro, like what the are you doing? Oh man, I don't know you. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. He like backed off and was like kind of laughing. Like he knew he f***ed up. I instantly texted Tyler, I'm like, <laughs> the one time you walk away. That's the T right there. Tyler originally was just gonna drop me off with my manager because he didn't know if he was gonna be able to get in either because he wasn't invited to the Hyatt or like anything. So we like really didn't know if he was gonna be able to get in. I like told him, I'm like, yeah, I don't really wanna go to this thing without you there because men scare me. And especially at things where men are drinking and I just, I just, I don't trust men at all. Um, also, I'm like 99% sure I know who he is. <laughs> I've definitely seen him on TikTok before. Definitely really stupid. And that is why you don't drink it, these things, so heavily. Also though, even when I've been like really drunk, I've never even like had the thought of like coming up to someone and doing that. Like I definitely think drunk actions are sober thoughts that you just don't act on. Whenever people are like, oh, I was drunk, I'm like, and? So a message for all the fellas, if you're trying to get a girl, 
don't do that. Other than that, I had a really great time. I forgot like how much I just loved to dance and just like listen to music and like, and you would think that would make me anxious, but like when there's like super duper loud music on and a bunch of people dancing, it's like so much going on that like I can't be anxious. If you get what I mean, you get what I mean. Everybody's different, like that totally can make other people anxious, but for some reason it's so much going on that my brain like can't focus on being anxious. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty great. So we stayed there probably till like 12.31 ish after we went to Denny's with a group of people. It was, it was great, it was fun. I felt really rebellious. We got home at like 4 a.m. You know, I was like, look at me, living my life in my 20s, being crazy. I did talk to a few creators like at the Hyatt about VidCon. Most people just say like VidCon isn't what it used to be. It was kind of like a thing like last year, VidCon was low-key just like kind of bad. I didn't have high hopes for VidCon this year, but I kind of just feel like it's kind of dead because YouTube isn't at its peak like it used to be. 2016 and 2019, YouTube was a lot bigger than it used to be. I just blow dried my hair. One thing I forgot to mention too, is it's so hard to dress for like influencer parties. I never know the vibes. At the Instagram party, there was people fully like dressed up, like dresses, heels, and there's other people, jeans and a t-shirt, jeans and a tank top, dudes in board shorts and a shirt, guys in dress shirts and slacks straight up people in sweats and hoodies like yes you can wear anything but it's like I did not know what to wear I ended up wearing just like a black skims dress and I was going to wear heels but I was scared I was gonna be like too dressed up so then I just wore like little sneakers with it and it was it was cute it was fine I totally could have worn heels next time I go to like a party or something I'll wear heels it was like really difficult to like know the vibes and I still didn't know the vibes like when I got there I've watched YouTube for so freaking long TikTok Instagram Vine and all of it and like I didn't know like any of the stuff like with the Hyatt and the after parties and any of that stuff like I don't know if people just don't talk about it or like maybe they just don't post about it when I went last year like I went on the very last day of VidCon I did get into the Hyatt and I went to an after party but we low-key stayed at the after party 15 minutes and then I had a panic attack and we left like I didn't experience anything I'm really happy I went hope you enjoyed still somehow have an entire coffee left I don't obviously in this yes I tell you guys like everything that went down but but I did post like more behind the scenes and all of that stuff on my snap if you guys want to see more behind the scenes because there's definitely going to be certain things that aren't like big enough to do a YouTube video on and just like my everyday life and stuff if you want to see that definitely head over to my snap and then I'm about to hit 100k on Instagram and if you guys would go follow that I would very much appreciate it I posted a bunch of pictures from VidCon on there and then of course TikTok VidCon really 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 like inspired me to like not be lazy and post. I'm gonna try and post more on everything. Grind videos out. And I know it's summertime. I know a lot of my viewers that are in high school and college are out. So I'm gonna create the most content I can for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I literally made a list of 50 video ideas that are all very doable and very exciting. But I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. But my bruises, scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me well, wish me